Hi. Now what I have here is two sets of discrete raw data. I mean these could be the temperatures on a given day in a given month. These might for instance be the marks gained by students in a test. Now quite often we want to find out what a typical value is of a set of data. An average if you like. And the average that I want to discuss in this tutorial is the median. It's the middle value of a list of data. And when we have discrete data, we must, first of all, rearrange it in order of size. So for both these lists, to save time, I've arranged them in order of size, ascending order. Now to find that middle value, it depends on how many values you've got, how many observations if you like. And in this first list, if you were to count them, you'd find that n was 11, whereas in this list, n is 12. Nothing special maybe, but 11 is an odd number, 12 is an even number, and the methods vary slightly when you've got odds and even sets of data. So how do we find this middle value, the median? Well, to get the middle value you need to find out which number is in the middle. And to do that, especially if it's a long list, you need to do it by calculations. If it's a short list, maybe you'll be able to just visually see it. But Let's pretend that this is a very long list, very difficult to observe. So to get that position of the middle value, we'll just write position like that for short. We take the number of values we've got, which in this case is 11, always add 1 and divide by 2. So we've got here 11 plus 1 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, so we need the sixth value. That will be the middle value. Look, I'll show you. That value will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the 16 here. You can see it's the middle because we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on that side and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values on that side. So this is our median. The median then is equal to 16. Let's just write that in here. Now when it comes to an even number of values, well, does it change? The method doesn't really change by much, but you'll notice that something funny happens here. Because we first locate the position, we take the number of observations we've got, which in this case is 12, always add 1 and divide by 2. So here we've got 13 divided by 2, which is six and a half. So we need the six and a half value in that list. And where is that six and a half value? It's in between the sixth and seventh values in the list. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's your seventh value, the twelve. So it's in between these two values, the nine and the twelve. So when this happens, what we've got to do is work out what the mean is of these two numbers, either side. In other words, you take those two values and you divide them by 2. And if you do 9 plus 12 over 2, you're going to get 10.5. So that's our median in a case like that. And this will always happen when you've got an even number of values in a list. OK, so we have our median then for each set of data. Now I want to introduce you to another value. It is called the lower quartile. So we'll write this in here, lower quartile. And the lower quartile is a value which is a quarter of the way in from the lower end of your list. 
Okay, the median was halfway in, the lower quartile is now a quarter of the way in. And we call this value Q1, the first quartile. And to get the position of this then, is quite easy. Because we know that the median was the sixth value and that meant that you had five values to the left of it. So you've got a list of five values and to select the middle one all you need to do is add one to that number of observations to the left of the middle value and divide by two. So you've got six divided by two so you're looking for the third value in. So what does that make Q1? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, Q1 then is that 10. Okay, the lower quartile. Now it's worth mentioning at this stage that we call this the first quartile. The median is really the second quartile in. Imagine two quarters. Two quarters is a half, halfway in. So we call the median Q2 quite often. All right. So Q2, the median, equals 16. Q2, the median over here, well that was the 10.5. But what about Q1 for this one? Would you be able to work it out? If you can, just pause the video and come back and see if you get the right answer. I want to see how you got on. We know that the median was at the six and a half value, which meant that you had six values either side of it. So we want to find the middle of that list of six values. So to get the position then, we just need to take the six values, add one, divide by two. Six and one is seven, divide by two, three and a half. It's the three and a half value. Okay? So let's go in and see what the three and a half value is. One, two, three and a half. It's in between the two fives. So this will be our Q1. And to get that Q1 then, all we need to do is take the mean of those two values. So Q1 is going to be 5 plus 5 divided by 2. It's simply going to be 10 over 2, 5, the same value. Okay? Now, I want to introduce you to another quartile, as we say. It's called the upper quartile. The upper quartile is three quarters the way through our list and it's called Q3 and again we need to get the position of it so we're in this list up here so obviously if the median was the sixth value we had five values left okay one two three four five so if we're going to get the position of that in that list it's going to be the same as what we had for the lower quartile. It's going to be 5 add 1 divided by 2. It's going to be the third value again in from the median starting on the right hand side of it. There's our list of five values. We just want the third value in. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3. There it is, the 18. That's our Q3 as we say. So Q3 turns out to be the 18. So you might like to see what Q3 is going to be for this particular list. Well, let's see. How did you get on? Well, again, the position is going to be exactly the same as what we had up here. We know that we've got to find the three and a half position to the right of the median. Here we are, one, two, three and a half. Three and a half position is in between the 15 and the 18 and that will give us the Q3 value. So 
Let's just write in here the position will be exactly the same as we had up here because we had a list of six digits on the side there. So it's be the three and a half value and that makes Q3 equal to 15 plus 18 divided by 2 and that comes to 16.5 so we just squeeze that in there 16.5 is Q3 I notice we could write this as Q2 the median and this value here as Q2 as well to finish off I want to introduce you to another idea it's called the interquartile range we'll just write it in here interquartile range so what is the interquartile range well it's defined as the width between the upper quartile Q3 and the lower quartile Q1 so that width will be Q3 minus Q1 so for this particular list Q3 we know is 18 take away Q1 which was the 10 and that's going to give us 8 so what would be the interquartile range here I'll call it IQR well that's going to be very easy again Q3 minus Q1 simply 16.5 minus Q1 which was 5 and that's going to give us 11.5 now these statistics are very useful they tell us as you'll see in later tutorials how compressed our data is about the median they give us measures of spread okay well I hope that's given you some idea of how we find the median then from lists where we've got odd number of observations and an even number of observations. Okay?